What's going on guys? It is Tuesday the 21st. We're out here at a assisted living facility. And we are going to rerun some line sets. These line sets that they ran to this building, you can see the line sets are right there. Go down into the ground. They create a giant trap. So the line sets come up and out of the ground. So we are going to take the refrigerant out of the system, cut those lines, rerun them, and run them up on here and over. They were supposed to build this all the way to the end, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that. We'll walk down and see because we're going to do this to most of these units out here. There's a couple bad fan motors over here that you'll hear scream as I get closer if you can't hear them already. Um, these are a bunch of Daikin ductless systems. Uh, a couple of them are ducted models inside, air handlers, and most of them are, are ductless. But you can see some of the line sets have been cut and removed, and some other company had already ran them up and over. So, for whatever reason, they didn't do the rest of them. So, that's what we're going to do. But they were supposed to extend these the same way over there so I'm not sure if they're not finished building that one or what but we just got here on the job so we will uh, wait for the other guys to get here and then we'll get started but this is what we're looking at and also the same thing down here see I'm thinking they didn't finish building that one it didn't really use much of a level either but hey It is what it is, I guess, so, but same deal. Lines go down into the ground, and they chase through here, and then they go back up through this wall and in. So this has been killing compressors. All of these units, I think there's been somewhere around five or six compressors installed in this cluster. Um, each unit has two compressors, but from what the owner's telling us is they've had about five or six compressors changed in just this cluster in roughly about seven years so but we'll go ahead and get started and i'll show you the progress of just it. a couple of those burn up compressors i guess they're keeping them for whatever reason the condenser fan motor that's from uh, one of the aon units i believe no no that's from one of the daikins zoom lock all the way all right day one's ended uh, basically what we've done is we've started running our lines <clears throat> again this is all existing stuff we're taking the traps out of the refrigerant lines and we're working with with what we have so it's not going to be the most aesthetically pleasing job in the world if we had our way it would all be ripped out and done right but we're in the situation uh, this other company uh, wasn't cutting it for the customer so they brought us in to finish the job so we're going to do it and make it as cost effective to the customer as we can so basically what we're doing is we haven't shut down any of these back three units these are the ones that we're rerunning the line sets the front two this one and the one directly in front of here have already been done which are uh, these these lines right here that are all taped together but basically what we're doing right now is we're getting all our refrigerant lines ran around to each unit and then once we have them there then we're going to start shutting down covering refrigerant, tying in lines, evacuating, just to keep the downtime on the systems uh, to a minimum, just because this is a uh, assisted living home. So we want to keep them as comfortable as possible inside for as long as we can. Today being about 85 degrees wasn't a great day to have any of these units down. So that's what we decided to do. But again, we're working with what we got. Um, again, we got the unit strut in different places that we're going to anchor down refrigerant lines, secure everything so they're not flipping flopping around. Just trying to make it as as secure and aesthetically pleasing as we as we can. Again, we're gonna have all the lines strapped down here. We're not doing anything with their little cluster back there. That's how they decided to do it, so that's how they did it. But that's not how we do it, so we'll do ours right. <clears throat> but you can hopefully see I can't see my screen because it's sunny as hell out here. But we got them uh, 
Got everything clamped and secured up there. We are using zoom locks. You might be able to see up there. But we've had great success with zoom lock. Um, it's a great product. Haven't had any issues whatsoever. I think we've only had about three fittings leak in thousands that we put in. And all three of them were, it was a user error versus a failure in the actual product. But yeah, that's what we got so far. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm going to end it here. Um, I'll try to get some more video tomorrow. We come back out to show you the progress. If not the whole thing, I'll sort of give a little walk through at the end of the day, sort of like today. Um, there's just too many people running around and it's all crazy. It's kind of hard to film. But uh, yeah, that's where we are today. So we'll pick up where we left off come tomorrow. I'll get as much video as I can. So this is part one. Stay tuned for uh, more updates. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.